So Canon are releasing a brand new lens, the RF 35mm f1.4 L lens. I've got it here on the front of the R5. And the first thing that's really obvious with this lens is it is clearly designed as a hybrid photo video lens, right? There's a lot of decisions that are clear that it is for photo and for video. It makes perfect sense because 35 millimeters is a great all-rounder focal length for loads of different stuff, whether it is in the photography space or in the video space as well. There's just so much that you can do with a lens like this and with a nice fast aperture like f1.4, it just adds that versatility, the kind of stuff that you can shoot. In the photography space, you know, that's stuff like landscape, portrait, street photography. You're not gonna be doing you know, lots of wildlife stuff. But other than that, you're going to be doing pretty much anything with a 35 mil. And then with video, this is just such a good all rounder prime lens for so many video shoots. And with that nice F1.4, you can get some beautiful out of focus areas as well. Now, as it's an L lens, you would expect a certain level of quality, both in terms of optics and build and design. And it certainly lives up to that. I've actually had this alongside the older EF version. So the EF 35 mil f1.4 and holding them both together it is immediately so obvious how much lighter this lens is it is really quite really quite impressive actually how light this lens is compared to the older version and it means that sitting on the front of something like the r5 all of the weight feels like it's distributed much closer to the camera which just feels so much more comfortable in the hands now of course it ends up being an overall lighter system as well but the actual just way it feels is so nice it means that going out and shooting completely handheld, constantly out and about, walking about with it, as long as you want really, it's just not a problem, right? And I love this trend of these lighter and lighter lenses. And you love to see that on a lens like this, still maintaining beautiful quality, that nice fast aperture, but just in a much, much lighter package. Optically as well, this absolutely lives up to the level that you would expect from an L lens like this. The images are beautiful. I mean, it helps having things like the Canon colors, which just look beautiful. But the lens is absolutely able to create gorgeous images, right? It's an 11 bladed aperture in the lens, which means you get this lovely smooth bokeh. If you get up close to your subject, if you're shooting at f1.4, you're getting some beautiful out of focus areas. And it's worth mentioning as well, the image is lovely and sharp, really, really beautiful stuff. Now there's an aperture ring on the lens, and this is one of those things where it's obviously been designed with video in mind because this is a completely smooth aperture ring, right? So there's no click and there's no option to turn click on or off. So there's no switch for de-clicking or anything like that. It's always gonna be smooth. Now I love an aperture ring on a prime lens, right? I think it's a, a lovely way to be able to control things. You don't have to use it. You can still control it from the camera if you want to, but I love being able to. But I will say, I do like it clicked, right? I just like the tactile feel of it. And certainly I appreciate the option to turn click on or off, right? If it can only be one way, personally, I'd have it clicked. That's a totally personal thing. I think that when you're shooting video, realistically, how often are you actually changing aperture mid shot? Probably not that much. I guess if you are, it's useful to have that be able to be smooth like that. But for me personally, as a hybrid shooter, I prefer the click and not having the option to click it on means that the reality is I was mostly controlling the aperture from the camera, which is fine. It's absolutely fine. And like I said, I'm kind of in two minds about it. Love an aperture ring, just would have liked the click on there, at least as an option. Now, in terms of other controls, though, it's pretty straightforward. We've got things like the AFM switch, course we've got a custom function button on the side as well as the control ring on the front which does have a click so that's quite nice and then a nice a nice decent sized manual focus ring which is nicely weighted which again if you are shooting video and you want to do some manual focus stuff that is going to be really useful to have available to you i just think this is a really lovely lens to be honest it's difficult not to immediately be excited by a nice 35 millimeter 1.4 an l lens like this it's just a lovely lens to go out and shoot with. You know, really whatever you're doing, it's just a great lens to use. And I think it's a great addition to the lineup of RF lenses. You can check out the full spec, everything you wanna know, the full pricing, all the fun stuff, by checking out the link down in the description. There'll be all the fun stuff down there, so you can go and see all of that right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well, because there's new content all the time. I will see you in the next video, but until then, as always, thanks for watching.